Sup everyone, I'm your- Wait a minute. Let's fix this up a little bit more for this very, very special occasion. Got my Isaiah figure. Leave that here. And let's see. Also got my Ra Ra wallet. The dollars. Yeah. <sighs> okay. See the poster nice? Yeah, you do. Okay. Now we can start. Sup everyone, I'm your female otaku, and I'm here to review the finale episode, Dorara Ketsu, or Dorara as a whole. I only have one problem with the finale episode, and that is that it felt rather rushed. And I heard from you light novel readers for the past few weeks now that you guys were saying that yes, it's been rushing a little bit. And then with this finale episode, I certainly felt it. Oh boy, I felt like that this episode should have been an hour long or 45 minutes, at least 45 minutes long to truly flesh out everything and make sure each character had their proper end. Like, yes, every single character of Dara had a proper end. It was just so quick though. Some people would get 30 seconds, some people would get like a minute, others maybe two. You might still have questions. Like, I know people are gonna have questions like, what happened to Isaiah? Is he dead? Is he alive? I don't know. Well, with Isaiah, that's basically open to interpretation. Either you think he's dead or not. And, but one thing's for sure, he's not in Ikebukuro anymore. He's not there, he left, he's done with it, and has admitted defeat to Shizuo. So yes, Shizuo did win. Isaiah got totally wrecked and, uh, salty. Salty. Huh, let me, let me talk about my bae. So salty saved Mikado from killing himself. And Selty regained both her memories from when she had the head and when she did not have the head. But she decided to go back over to her homeland, which I believe is Ireland. So she was going, making her way over back to there. Then Shinra comes, tells Shizuo to throw him so that he can become a villain. And I'm just all like, no, Shinra, you're not a villain. Not a villain. What you did was the right thing, or at least what I wanted. I mean, I suppose I see why he would say that he's a villain, but this little selfish act, it needed to be done. <laughs> it needed to be done. We needed Selty back. We really did. The bay had to return, and she did. Oh my goodness, they love each other so much, and then you just saw them right off, went away from the cops, and oh, oh, they love each other so much. And oh my goodness, Shooter. Shooter, best little trusty companion anyone can have. Great job, Shooter. So we all have our interesting opinions when it comes to Neikawa. However, at the very, very end of this episode, when the last few moments we see of Neikawa, I ended up liking her in the very end. Ah, Nekawa. Thank you. Thank you. You see, the teacher guy, I don't remember his name, but the teacher guy, he shanked Mikado. Like, it wasn't just one stab wound. No, he just kept on shanking it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So teacher was shanking Mikado. Then he made a run for it. And he ended up running into the wrong people because there was Kyohei with the others. We never got to see the battle, by the way, with them versus Izumi's gang. So I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get to see that. However, when, uh, what's his name? Subaru, there we go, I remembered his name. Instead of Driver, I remember his name. Subaru, Saburu. He sees the teacher and he's just like, hey, that's the guy who ran you over. And then Kyohei's like, no, don't, I know what you're thinking, don't do it. Then <laughs> Driver, I mean, Summer, he goes in, he floors it. Walker's like, go, 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 go. Oh, I guess. Do it, do it. And bam. He hits him. And Nekawa drags the teacher over to one of Isaiah's little secret hideouts so that she can torture him while also make love to him. And I'm just like, Nekawa. Thank you, thank you for being 
the way you are. <laughs> so with Kasane, she meets up with her niece, Ruri. It's been quite some time since we've seen Ruri, and I wish we got to see her and uh, Yuhei once more. But anyway, so Kasane kills that crazy stalker guy, decides to take the blame for the death, which, you know, she did kill him, but also wants Rudy to atone for her sins from being the serial killer Hollywood. That was very interesting. I don't know. I don't know how, about, how I feel about Kasane's end. She still sees herself as a villain. I would have liked to see her go on a path of her being becoming a little more human, trying to have a normal life. But maybe she doesn't want that? I don't know, she's always jealous of people. I don't know, but I wish Kasane had a little more to her ending. So the trio, Mikado, Masaomi, and Anri, they all are together at the hospital. They now know everything about each other. And they're gonna move on from there and try to have the life that they originally wanted. Shizuo said goodbye to Verona. And Alba? I guess Alba's just gonna stick to being just a rotten little kid, but probably isn't gonna do much damage anymore. Cause Akabayashi, oh he's got an eye on him. I don't think Alba's gonna be doing too much that we have to worry about. Seiji actually admits to Mika that even though he is in love with just the head, he does see Mika as somewhat of family. And I'm just like, what? Seiji? What? <laughs> that, was, that was so strange to hear. And they're moving to Chicago, so I don't know how they're gonna do that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Definitely should have been at least 45 minutes, too short for the finale episode. Oh, well, at least we have the Ketsu OVA coming out in the spring. But Dorama is over. It hurts me to say that, guys. Dorama is, is over. Dorama is my life. It's my favorite anime of all time. This isn't the last that we're going to see Dorara on this channel, however. In the future, I know Dorara will be in multiple of my top 10 videos. I don't know, uh, maybe, maybe I'll have some discussion videos on Dorara characters, perhaps, or maybe get into the light novels. I don't know if the light novels are still ongoing, which, by the way, with the light novels, um, I don't know if they'll be turned into an anime. It is possible, however, I have heard from light novel readers that they have not been doing too well in Japan because Izaya is barely in it. So, I I don't know if the spin-offs will become an anime, get a, get a movie, or just become an OVA, I don't know. But for now, this is what we got. And I, I feel empty. Not because this was bad because it wasn't. I just feel empty because I know that there's nothing else coming. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys that, those of you who've watched my Dorara reviews, it means so much to me because you guys know how much I love Dorara. But then I found out how much you guys love Dorara and you're just as passionate and you're just in love with this anime as much as I am. So that feels amazing. So great. I got to talk with you guys. I got to share the feels with each other, both with my Ketsu reviews and with my Dara 10 reviews over the summer. It means so much. So there's no way this is gonna be the last Dara on my channel. So, yeah, I don't know, maybe one day I might do a full series review of Dara, because I know a couple of people on my channel, they know how obsessed we are of Dara and they want to know whether or not they should get into it, so yeah, maybe so. Maybe so, guys. Thank you so much, once again, for sticking with me and these reviews. Also, check out my live reaction to the finale episode. Uh, my moto is there as well, so uh, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I make a face. I make a face when Mikado gets shanked. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah. Oop. That's it. That's it, guys. Hmm. Okay. I got. I gotta end this. I gotta end this. I gotta end this. Catch them later. As a review, Haikyuu season two finale, and Utanomono Itsuwa no Kamen finale. 
I'm your female otaku. Sayonara.